how you can create documentation websites really easily with a famous tool called docusaurus it's a tool that is built by facebook it's a tool that is built on top of react.js it's a static site generator tool so it's comparable with gatsby.js or even next.js but the speciality about this particular tool is it's built specifically to write documentations okay here we have our own documentation website so i have a uh, github repository which is a express typescript boilerplate let me show you so this is an uh, express typescript boilerplate that i have created and i have created the documentation website for it here okay uh, here let me show you what we can do using this tool uh, here we can see that we can add pages here we have our nice sidebars we have the next buttons where we can navigate through our documentation we have nested routes where we can see how to do things easily and uh, beautifully and it's really easy to customize and really easy to build so let me show you how we have built this one okay so let's first head back to the terminal you have to run a command called npm init docusaurus okay if you do this it will ask you what will be the name of the website you will give a name let's say test demo you will select classic because uh, this is the template or uh, this is the look and feel that you want initially we can customize it later then you will be asked if you want typescript or not we will use typescript but i'm not going to do that you can just hit y and a new project will be created i have already created a project for you so let me show you what we have done okay let me stop this one okay so here is the project that you will get when you run the, those commands uh, let me show you some of the features if uh, before we do that let me first run the project here it will be easier for you to understand so here our project is run on localhost 3000 let me show you or take you there uh, by the way you can check out its documentation docusaurus documentation it's really uh, comprehensive and should be easy to follow but uh, i will just show you how we can customize it okay so here is our website and here you can see we can uh, we have a button called docusaurus tutorial which will take us to this tutorial part okay tutorial has several nested routes and we have a blog option as well so this is the tutorial this is the blog and here we have our blogs as well we have markdown features we have uh, mdx features which means you can integrate uh, buttons here as well uh, not only buttons any kind of react.js component you can integrate here um, and obviously any kind of markdown which is supported somewhere else is also supported here also you get some nice features out of the box for example this dark and um, light mode you can see the code highlighting mode those things are automatically given to you okay so let me show you how you can customize things if you go into the project you will find two folder one is blog one is docs basically when you add a new file here in the blogs section this will be automatically turned into a new page here okay let me show you let's so we copy this and paste this and we make this let's we give it a name demo blog post okay right uh, let me give the proper title which should be our slug for this blog it will be a demo blog post and that's it okay let's see we have our demo blog post here okay so it's really easy just like that you can add some metadata here and you can add the actual blog here so this is a demo blog if we do this it should be reflected in our demo blog post and look at the slug here we have our demo blog post slug here so it was really nice and easy we can customize the tags and everything so let's add a new tag and see what happens here you can see we have our new tag here so that's the blog part you can just add a new file and that's it you might wonder where is it getting these um, dates that's the beginning of 
your file name okay so you can give your date here and docuseries is smart enough to omit this date from your slug or something like that and it will uh, show the dates inside here that's really nice okay that's all about blog and let's go to our docs section if you go our tutorial it will show you a step by step the only difference between blog and a tutorial is blogs don't have the next button but the tutorials will have the next button because tutorials are meant to follow step by step so you'll start from the intro then go to the tutorial basics it will have a bunch of options and you can go there uh, it's meant to be like that so this is really useful when you are building documentation websites so if you uh, open up this docs folder you can see that we have the intro file here we can see we have given the sidebar position as one okay so you can control where your files will go see let's say we have we make this for what will happen you will now see that the intro has gone at the bottom right because our tutorial basics has a position two and our tutorial extras has a position three so if you give intro position four it automatically goes to the bottom of the sidebar so you get a nice sidebar and you can also control the positions and if you want to group some urls together for example under tutorial basics we have a uh, several pages right here how, what you can do is you can just create a new folder called tutorial basics and inside that all of the folders will create a new url path so this congratulations page will be tutorial basics slash congratulations something like this here you can see tutorial basics slash congratulations so this is a nice way to uh, create the documentation websites you can position your pages really intuitively really easily you can connect those and create a nice to follow or easy to follow tutorial for your users what for whatever purpose you are building your apis okay so uh, that is the part of the blog and uh, blogs and docs so those are the most important things uh, you can have some uh, nice uh, this docusaurus config file is another very important file that you should have a look into here you can control the, your site name let's say if you go there we can see we have my site here so let's say i say your site let's see what happens okay nothing happens it's still my site because the name changed here okay so you can customize your name here you can see we have our tagline dinosaurs are cool which is presented here let's say something else and we should see something else here right really nice and easy so uh, that's how you can create your website uh, create your documentation website you can uh, you should take a look in the document docusaurus config file uh, there are a lot of customizations here that you should definitely take a look into inside the source folder you can add pages the index.tsx page will be our home page right so this is our index.tsx page if you create a markdown page it's a markdown page so let's say i go here slash markdown page it should take me to a markdown page so it works like this so really file based routing makes it really easy to follow and easy to build your websites really really fast and if you want to take some inspirations you can do that as well i believe there are some showcases in their documentation uh, really i was amazed at the number of uh, documentations that are built with docusaurus it's really a professional site it is nice website or nice documentation is completely built with docusaurus also docusaurus provides us with a lot of customizations as well you can create you can have your seo plugins here you can track your website with google analytics it's really easy to deploy uh, you can translate your website really easily here you can see we have our language picker although the initial version doesn't have that because you can add these things into your website one by one okay you can also integrate search features here as well so uh, that's about it i believe you now have a better idea of how to use docusaurus and you should obviously take a look here if you want to create your own personal portfolio website or you want to create documentation website or maybe you are creating your knowledge hub your personal knowledge hub docosaurus is a great tool to use so i hope uh, you learned something new today 
and i will see you on the next video and if you like this video obviously subscribe and like those stuff thank you so much